The new Khalid al Assad bundle is a fake. It is not the real Khalid al Assad. The real Khalid al Assad is the one we saw in Warzone and Modern Warfare 2019. The Khalid al Assad we're seeing right now is not canon, not real, and a complete and dubious fake made to throw us off the trail of the real identity of Khalid al Assad. And one of the things that we know about Khalid al Assad is that his real identity is Hadir Kareem from the Modern Warfare 2019 game. And one of the other things that we have to back up this piece of evidence is the voice actor for Khalid al-Assad at the end of Modern Warfare 2019 and in Call of Duty Warzone is Aiden Bristow. Some of the people watching this might not know who he is, but he's the person who voiced Hadir Kareem in Modern Warfare 2019. They had the same voice actor play two different characters. And if you actually listen to the voice lines like I'm about to show you here, the only difference is he added a little gruff and roughness to his voice when he talked about Khalid al-Assad. So let's have a listen real quick. We are brothers now. Make me proud, Alec. No problem, brother. We have more. Plenty more. And when you compare it to this voice right here. Low on ammo. Ammo's almost spent. Ammo's low. After listening to that, you can hear there's a very distinct difference between the old Khalid al-Assad and the new Khalid al-Assad. Or should I say, the real Khalid al-Assad and the fake one. The real Khalid al-Assad is the voice of Hadir Kareem that we all know and that we all have confirmed at this point is true. The new voice is of someone completely different. And there's some evidence to support that these are two different characters because Call of Duty is mixing in a bunch of facts and ridiculous information along with a lot of real information about the new Khalid al-Assad. But obviously the biggest thing to mention is Call of Duty has already come out and said that Season 5 of Vanguard Last Stand, where Khalid al-Assad is introduced, is not canon. It's not real, so that means the characters in it are not real either, and they are not canon. However, Call of Duty has definitely thrown in some references to the new Khalid al-Assad and the new Modern Warfare 2. One of the things that we know points to Hadir Kareem and Khalid al-Assad being the same person, along with the current Khalid al-Assad bundle being a complete fake, is actually the description for the Khalid al-Assad bundle on his biography. The first thing to talk about in his bio is his age. It says that Khalid al-Assad was born in 1963, which if we progress that to modern day, would make him almost 60 years old. The Khalid al-Assad bundle that we're seeing is not a 60 year old man. If that's a 60 year old man, then I'm in my mid forties. But as you start reading his bio, it starts to make a lot more sense that Hadir Kareem is really Khalid al-Assad and the one we're seeing right now is a fake. His bio reads, Khalid al-Assad grew up in Uzbekistan amid political strife. He was drawn to the words of Omar Sullivan and joined the Al-Qatala terrorist group. He was imprisoned, but escaped after Suleiman's death to take control of Al-Qatala. His leadership transformed the militants into an army as he acquired an arsenal for the invasion of Verdansk, committed to the demise of Western powers. Al-Assad launched gas attacks in Verdansk, breaking a fragile armistice between nations. Because his description says that he escaped from prison after Omar Sullivan's death to take control of the Al-Qatala forces, it's starting to look a lot more like Hadir. As we know, Hadir was sent to prison by the Russians at the end of the Modern Warfare 2019 campaign, along with the fact that Hadir had no problems using gas, and neither does Khalid al-Assad. That description about him escaping from prison only can be applied to Hadir Kareem. It would not make sense for any other character in the Modern Warfare 2019 game. Along with all of this, when you start looking at the character model, the character model that we're seeing in Vanguard and Warzone is a much beefier, much older version of Khalid al-Assad than what we saw in Warzone and Modern Warfare 2019. Not much older, but about 10 years older and about 30 pounds heavier. While his character model is very different from what we've seen in the past, there is one thing that is exactly the same. When you remove the glasses of Khalid al-Assad, it is revealed to be Hadir Kareem and his exact same player model. And because Call of Duty's been mixing up all of these facts and fiction about Khalid al-Assad and trying to throw us off the trail, there's one thing that they added that people are taking very seriously for no reason whatsoever. It's the fact that the Khalid al-Assad Warlord Bundle has him in Shadow Company uniform. A lot of people are taking this as a sign that he's gonna be part of Shadow Company or he's gonna be working with Shadow Company. And this might be true. He might be working with General Shepard and Shadow Company, but I highly doubt it. I see this as being more of an Easter egg. We already know Shadow Company will be in Modern Warfare 2, and we know they're gonna be in there some capacity, but we don't know what yet. But this is more of an Easter egg showing us that Shadow Company will be in the game, and they'll be a big part of Khalid al-Assad's storyline in Modern Warfare 2. As you step back and start to look at the Khalid al-Assad bundle 
from a very wide view, instead of the small microscopic view that we've been looking at currently, looking at individual pieces, it starts to make a lot more sense that this is a fake. Khalid al-Assad has a completely different voice actor from what we've seen in the past. Completely unsimilar to anything we've heard so far. His character model is much older and much chubbier than the original Khalid al-Assad that we saw. The Khalid al-Assad we've seen so far in the bundle is almost 60 years old, but he still has jet black hair and looks in the prime of his life, and looks mid-30s. Along with the fact that he's a Shadow Company member according to a uniform that you can get for him, it starts to make less and less sense that this is Khalid al-Assad. But there are some truths to this bundle as we start to look at it. The description for Khalid al-Assad and the fact that he broke out of prison and is now in control of the Al-Qatala forces can only be applied to Hadir Karim. He is the only person that we know about who is in prison at the end of Modern Warfare 2019. And then as you take a step further out and start looking at the information we already know, Khalid al-Assad was being supplied arms by the Sakaya family, who supplied him with his arms, his gas, and all the weapons he needed to take for dance. They didn't supply him with an army, which he provided himself. But he is very closely related to the Sakaya family. And one thing that we know about Hadir Karim, which came to us at the very end of the Modern Warfare 2019 campaign, was told to us by Laswell, which is a very telling statement. Hadir Karim was captured by the Russians, and the Zakaya family has a very big interest in his work and an interest in him. The Zakaya family liked what he did and had a very big interest in what he was doing. Along with the fact that he was in a Russian prison, it makes sense that the Zakaya family would break him out in order to have him execute their plans with an army that he already has in place, who was already ready to fight and die for him. This all really builds to the point that Khalid al-Assad that we're seeing in Warzone is not the real Khalid al-Assad. The real Khalid al-Assad has a much deeper and a much more interesting story than what we've seen currently. Along with the fact that he's going to be a huge part of Modern Warfare 2, I'm excited to see the real Khalid al-Assad, not this fake person we've been handed and told to expect to be the Khalid al-Assad. So if you want to see my complete video talking about why I know Hadir Kareem is Khalid al-Assad, I'll include a link right here. And until next time, I am Icebergs, your Call of Duty informant. Stay frosty.